Disney Girl back for another episode of my Disney's Magic Kingdoms game. So today we are going to be continuing with Tower Challenge number 7, Chapter 1. So I've just reached the first milestone reward, which is 300 event currency. So that currency can be used to do quite a few things. You can purchase characters like Timon, Pumbaa, and Nala, along with some of the Lion King attractions um, in the event shop. You can also purchase uh, the new hyena, actually, Shanzi, with this currency. You can purchase our character tokens and then we will also need some additional currency uh, for her welcoming time. So you won't be using magic but you'll be using the event currency. Now here is Pumbaa. Oh, I'm a little less hungry but I'm still just as worried as before. I, I hope the Ricardo Manukas don't get worse when you eat stuff. Eating stuff's the main way I know how to solve problems. <laughs> Poor Pumbaa. Quest complete. Bugged out. That in talking to Timon. Oh, I should talk to Timon. <laughs> yes, you should. So we got one refresh token and 300 event currency for doing that. So that was an event quest, guys, which is always awesome to do. Why didn't I think of that before? Timon will know what to do. Or at least he'll say he does, which is almost the same thing. <laughs> almost, yeah. Almost the same thing. <laughs> also, uh, I hope he knows how to spell Piccata Laguana, because I'm running out of ways to do it. <laughs> oh, I guess not Hakuna Matata anymore. Hopefully he'll get back there, though, by the end of the tower challenge. Fingers crossed for Pumbaa, guys. Now, you actually can do this quest with Pumbaa, guys, just so you guys know. Once you bring him in with the currency, if you're using currency to bring him in, if you didn't have him before, um, you will be able to do this quest right away when he's a level one. Horchata Tatua. Maybe send Pumbaa to find Timon at the Circle of Life. Okay. So, um, that's another quest you guys get to do. Hashtag fun. Okay, but this is good because we will get some additional currency and stuff like that. So 150 extra currency actually. And now that is two hours and we do have the chance as well uh, to collect a character token, which is obviously amazing. And now that is one of the character tokens for the hyenas. So that will be useful. It is a rare drop though, so it's not really guaranteed, but uh, we can definitely try. And my goodness, Maleficent looks so evil. She thinks she's winning, but she's actually not. She is not winning anymore. We are going to take her down. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, Maleficent. What are we going to do with you? This is as close as it's going to get, guys, to actually welcoming her in the kingdom, believe it or not. Uh, DMK has said that they will never actually let us welcome her because that would mean the game is over. So that is going to be as close as it gets to seeing her in the kingdom. Now, there are a couple of collections, guys, that we can use to challenge the tower in Chapter 1. Um, I have posted the leaks for Chapters 2 and 3 already a couple of days ago. So you guys can watch those if you uh, want to start getting your characters ready. I'll give you guys a little, a little hint, though. For your limited time characters, if you're going to focus on those, focus on Princess and the Frog and the Little Mermaid. All the rest of the characters, if you guys want to know, uh, again, which ones to use for each slot, you will have to go and check out that video it just again there's too much to talk about um in this one um as well so again you guys can head over there if you guys want to know the leaks and stuff i'll try and leave a link as well at the very end of the video so you guys can just go right there after this one if you want to uh this one though is actually great um this chapter for smaller kingdoms i do have to say because uh technically speaking if you are a very small kingdom which i am actually playing a new kingdom um on swirly pops i'm just testing it out for a little bit just to see what it would be like to to do like a limited time event, a tower challenge, the tutorials now with all the big changes in the game and stuff. Um, so we're gonna see if that kingdom can end up like really, really participating properly. We're gonna try and at least get one, maybe even two new characters. If we can get more than that, that'd be great. But right now it's just like there, um, as of today, there was like nobody that could 
go and collect refresh tokens for a small kingdom so it was like literally i could send three characters out to challenge tower and like that was it so i was like going okay well that kind of stops us on the currency train um basically we're just relying on collecting from cursed attractions uh in the kingdom so every four hours there's going to be four cursed attractions and you can get a little bit of currency from that just tap it twice and you'll get to four currency so again it's just like I feel that that kingdom may struggle. This one, on the other hand, is doing really well. Like, I know I'm missing some Incredibles characters and stuff like that, so I know I'm missing out on that a bit. Uh, but I do have a couple of them quite high that they're using, which is great. So Frozone, my featured character there, um, he's maxed out. Dash is also maxed out, and I'm going to be doing Jack Jack. So Jack Jack, um, it was a level nine, so that's fine. Um, now he was in one of the tower challenges that we had. He was the featured character we were trying to collect for. Um, back then it was just one character, not multiple, so... Uh, yeah, <laughs> it was a little bit easier, let's just say, back then um, in a lot of ways just to have the one. This is a little bit trickier because we're collecting multiple ones. Um, now, uh, Shanzi's skull is 300 event currency, guys, so I am going to be trying to purchase as many of these as I can um, throughout the video, and uh, hopefully we'll get there by the end of chapter one. So there is Pumba and the Circle of Life. As you guys can see, I already got those. So uh, basically, once I collect all of um, the bones for Shanzi, then that's it. And then basically, it's just saving up currency so that I can purchase, uh, obviously, the next character token uh, for her at the start of Chapter 2. So I will be doing a live stream for that, though, guys, just so you guys know. Um, I will be doing that um, at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sunday. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And, uh, yeah, so basically at 10.30, we'll talk about uh, the characters and what's coming and sort of what I've done to prepare this past week and stuff like that um, for Chapter 2. And then, again, we'll talk about what I'm sort of planning to do with chapter three as well because again now that we know the collections and stuff uh, what sort of my goal with again my character levels and stuff what they're at now and and all that kind of thing so uh, we'll be talking about that and then I'll try and also answer a couple of specific questions and stuff to you guys as kingdom so if you guys like want to give me the lowdown of your kingdom and stuff like that and like what characters uh, your levels are and stuff like that in the live stream then i will definitely be able to address like what you guys should be trying to do throughout that chapter to make the best of it and also to get yourself ready for chapter three because basically now that we have the leaks we just work on uh basically preparing ourselves for that next chapter so this one yes for example right now i'm doing jack jack for 24 hours um but i mean i sent him out to challenge the tower like just once and then the, uh, basically the 24 hours will go by and then I can use him again uh, the next day once I've refreshed all my characters uh, then I'll be able to use him again so that's that's fantastic and that system really works if you don't do it right sometimes you will miss out on using uh, that character because again it's the 24 hours so if you don't time it right um, then again you can miss out on possibly using that one character to challenge the tower but I mean, it would just be once, but I'm trying to sort of maximize what I can from the tower challenge. Now, I am still missing some characters from The Incredibles, you guys can see. Um, Syndrome is one of those characters. Yeah, um, not that great. I know I'm also missing Mr. Incredible and Violet, so lots of dialogue to come with The Incredibles at some point. Uh, but yeah, I was hoping to be able to collect some incredible stuff actually in chapter one, but instead they've done something a little bit different this time and actually used the Lion King collection all the way through for each chapter. So instead of like collecting uh, a few things from uh, you know from different collections we're just collecting from the Lion King this time so in some ways it's really good and in other ways it's a little bit not good because like I would have liked to have collect something from the Incredibles but then I, again at the same time I do still need stuff from the Lion King so that's fine now the only thing is though guys is I'm a little upset that the Lion King legendary chests aren't out for me to purchase anything because right now I'm missing Simba like 
I'm missing Nala too, but I wanted to try and get Simba this time, but it doesn't look like I'm even going to be able to do that as well as some of the attractions that like I'm missing from the Lion King still. And yeah, they're not really available for me to get any other way except from a legendary chest and they're not available right now. So what could have been useful to me in the tower challenge if I could have purchased those chests is not going to be useful. So a little bit upset with that. I mean, I'm glad that it's Timon and Pumbaa that are mostly being used for the tower challenge. Because uh, if it had been Simba and like no chest or whatever, that would have just been bad. That would have been really bad for me. I don't know what exactly would have gone on, but uh, at least I don't have to worry about that. But I am looking forward to, I was hoping at least to finish the Lion King collection, but I will be looking forward to doing that uh, hopefully pretty soon. I was hoping to finish up the Incredibles a while ago, but maybe if they do an Incredibles Tower Challenge and like get Edna and stuff, then maybe I'll have a better chance at finishing off that collection. Timon! Oh no! I know that face! Have you been eating your feelings again? I keep telling ya! That's not even close to healthy! Come on! What's got your Ibex this time, Pumbaa? Spit it out! <laughs> what is he saying? Oi! So, when I said spit it out, I also meant that literally. You know, I can't understand you with your mouth full. <laughs> Quest complete. Horchata to Tua, baby. Bleh. Sorry, Timon. Uh, let me try that again. <laughs> oh my gosh. 500 currency. Oh my gosh, that's super good. And a refresh token. So if you guys um, are able to bring in Pumbaa, if you guys don't have him already, and do these quests, you will get, again, refresh tokens and currency. And that currency is going to help you so much, regardless of whether you're actually trying to get Shanzi or you're just trying to collect some of the Lion King stuff, for example, like Nala and the attractions and all that. So that currency from doing that event quest dialogue is super duper important to do guys um, so get him in there again he just has to be a level one to do that dialogue which is fantastic um, I really do like that for sure now in terms of characters that can challenge a tower I've got some really high ones from the Mickey and Friends collection which has been fantastic Pirates of the Caribbean Toy Story that sort of thing again I think the Incredibles is sort of my weakest link not having all the things but I think other than that I think I've like chapter one's been pretty successful uh, again, the refresh tokens has really been the only bad thing. I just, for whatever reason, I just can't get refresh tokens. Uh, so I literally a couple of times have just had to send Frozone out on his own. And I'm like, all right, well, that's not very effective. So I'm hoping um, to get some more refresh tokens uh, in chapter two for sure. Because I am going to need them, especially because the points are going to be getting a bit harder. And I'm going to need the currency, which is kind of the big thing for me is I need the currency. So be only being able to send out a Frozone to challenge a tower is not being very like effective and useful with my time and with my kingdom's time. So I don't know, I guess it's better than nothing, but at the same time, it's just, I do wish that uh, there were some more refresh tokens. Last time I was totally fine. Like I had loads of refresh tokens. This time though, not so much. I've definitely been struggling a little bit more um, with the refresh tokens. So I'm not sure if it's because my happiness isn't only in joyous now. It's not an ecstatic. I've just been having so much trouble with this happiness, guys, uh, since uh, it was before the new update. It was actually update 30 I started having the problems. Update 31, it was supposed to get better. Uh, if anything, I've noticed my kingdom's been getting even more emo. So, like, I don't know what's going on here. Um, I know a lot of you guys' kingdoms, like, uh, some of you guys have said, Oh, mine's doing just fine. It's fixed now, whatever. But... Like, mine's just not. Like, I know I haven't opened any legendary chests really or anything to help me out. But, uh, like, I know some people do that to try and boost their happiness. It's a really good way to do that and kind of get it up quite fast. But there's literally just not enough happiness to, like, keep my kingdom happy. So that is definitely something that's uh, probably affecting me in terms of, yes, character token drops and stuff. But I think at this point, it's mostly just the refresh token drop, which... Uh, 
is again just affecting me probably the most now i know we are trying to collect for bonsai as well guys so some of you guys may have noticed that we can collect only one of Bonsai's tokens right now. Um, that is his skull. And then we actually can't collect the rest of his ears hats until chapter two. Now, the interesting thing is, is we will need him for chapter three. So, yeah, we, we're really going to have to work on getting him leveled up fast in chapter two. All right, so I have reached the next milestone, which is some magical chests here. So we've got Elastigirl's mask token, a refresh token, thank you, a Pixar ball token, and another Pixar ball token. Actually, got four of those in total. Well, that's a super terrible reward, Pixar ball tokens. Are you serious? Like, I can send Woody off to do that in like two seconds. Now, this one I got, Elastigirl's ears hat, we got 35 Maleficent to, uh, coins we got some pixie dust and stuff like that so that's fine the maleficent coins are obviously the best so really the best rewards you can get from your chest guys um are going to be the currency and the maleficent coins like yes you may get some other stuff you need but definitely the best rewards you guys can get are those two things now i know there is a refresh token bundle that you guys can purchase i haven't purchased it this time i'm actually thinking about it um it's not very expensive it's only a couple of dollars so i've been thinking maybe that might be what i have to do if push comes to shove i was trying not to but if i have to i might again i might just have to do that um the other th option was is opening some uh some chests and stuff like that so i might do that as well or just do that instead i'm not totally sure if you guys have some input for me would love some um i'm again i'm thinking the chests are more fun for sure but again the refresh tokens like again it just solves the problem for sure and it's kind of just guarantees it so I don't know. I, again, I'm kind of torn between the funness of chess and <laughs> and the the effectiveness of the refresh token. Speaking of chess, here is a bronze one, the gumbo token, Lewis's trumpet token, which is actually more useful than you guys could possibly imagine right now, and yay, a common blueprint. So this helps us to level up our attractions, guys. Um, now, I am in the process of leveling up some of my attractions right now, so I will be doing that, and then uh, we'll probably get some dialogue, because that Kingdom Quest will finally be done uh, with Merlin, so that'll be great, getting that first sort of attraction dealt with and everything, so that'll probably be tomorrow's video, is the first time sort of just enchanting attractions, and sort of how that process goes, and I'll talk about like how it looking at least for the future of the kingdom and stuff like that because things have changed so much with these like attraction enchantments and stuff uh it's definitely been a lot more work than i expected and it's taking a long time a really long time like i really don't need to do it because i don't need the character tokens for most things um but i wish there was a list of like character tokens you could get from attractions and their enchantments and stuff like that that's like one thing it's like okay yeah like we can see the next reward but i want to know what all of them are like i want an info area where i can see like oh at a upgraded five you know we're gonna get um Michael, darlings, um, uh, whatever. Like it just, whatever it happens to be, that's great. Like I know Donald's boat. Some one of you guys told me was uh, actually really good for Michael. I think that's probably where I was going in my thought process, but. Uh, there is a character token that apparently will drop from there. But, like, I wouldn't have known that unless one of you guys had already enchanted Donald's boat. So, I wish there was just a list for us that we could, like, actually go through and just sort of know. And kind of then we could sort of assess and judge, like, which one is going to be most uh, effective for our kingdom. Like, it's, it just seems too much of a mystery to me. And especially with all of these attractions and stuff like that right now. Like, it, again, it's just... Uh, you know, there's a lot more to come in the kingdom. So I would like that going forward, even if they don't do it right now for Mickey and Friends and Toy Story attractions, which are the only ones available at the moment. Uh, that will change going forward. You can see when you click attractions now that it just says it's currently unavailable or whatever to upgrade it, but it's coming. So I do hope in the future they do provide a list for us that will help us out uh, to know sort of what we can expect from the attractions. So I, again, I think that would be absolutely fantastic, a 
extremely helpful. And if you guys agree with me, uh, let me know in the comments below if that is something you guys would be interested in as well. Now, I don't mind if you guys want to share with me, like if you've upgraded your attractions and stuff like that, and you know all the rewards for for them, I would absolutely love if you guys would uh, like send me that kind of stuff or put in the in the the comments or you guys can email me a list of the ones you've done and what you've gotten like i will share it right back to the community and like let everybody know sort of what they can expect from their attractions and stuff because again that is just something like we like are thrown in the dark about right now we have no idea what's going on um unless we actually do it we only know the next reward so uh, again this is something i would like them to do but moving on from attraction enchantments, we can talk about that a little bit more obviously in the next video that I do. Because chapter one is going to be done uh, today, basically then, as I said, it's just literally collecting currency and stuff like that and, uh, you know, trying to keep a good position sort of on the leaderboard and stuff like that. Uh, my leaderboard's a little bit tough and I haven't been able to do as well because again I haven't had the amount of refresh tokens I've needed for my characters. So in some ways it's like I'm not going to do maybe as well as I would have liked but I know I'll be in the top like two or three hundred so that's fine but again until then I really have no idea. Now you guys can get extra rewards in your mystery chests. So mystery chests are like a huge bonus. You just have to watch an ad and uh, you obviously just get a possibility of like a refresh token or some currency or character token so that's obviously fantastic you guys can see the rewards flash by in the middle there the currency is like a currency or refresh is sort of what i'm going for 20 currency you know what i'll take it whatever <laughs> i don't even care if it's 20 or 50 doesn't matter i will take it i'll take whatever i can get so there's my first one now there you can watch apparently up to two a day um, I have ha have been able to do that except for one of the days um, what was it was it yesterday no um, I forget but there's one of the days so far in the tower challenge I was only able to watch one ad and get the the chest so it's supposed to be two every day but again there was that one exception for me Bonsai's bone token. Yay. Okay, so we're working on, as I said, we're just collecting for him like on the side and stuff. Um, that's why Timon and Pumbaa are going to be extremely helpful. So I would definitely bring them in, guys. If nothing else, like you kind of need to if you want to, uh, if you want to get Bonsai for sure. So just something to think about. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's gonna be, there's just so much we're collecting for this time. Like, this is very different than how they've done previous tower challenges. Having the three characters, like, the Aladdin one was two, this one's three. It's just like, there's just a lot more that we have to do for sure in the kingdom right now. Peter Pan is leveling up. He's got a pretty cool welcome screen. Peter Pan is now level five. This is almost better than the time I fought off all those pirates on Marooner's Rock. <laughs> Almost. I thought your welcome screen was cool. And I think you're having fun in my kingdom. I would like to uh, to get John in ASAP, but I know in terms of magic, he's so expensive. So, yeah. In some ways, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm not really looking forward to it. <laughs> We're getting there, we're getting there, and we still have Ducky, and yeah, yeah. We still have to level up Huey, Welcome Dewey and Louie, so it's just, there's gonna be so much magic being spent in the upcoming month, it's gonna be so scary. <laughs> Here is Jack-Jack, and guys, this will be the last time we get to see his welcome screen on the channel. And Jack-Jack is now level 10. Ha <laughs> ha! So cute! I love that he's like got every superpower under the sun. I hope they make a movie one day or like a mini, like a mini series or something for Jack Jack and stuff. So we actually get to see him like grow up a bit and get to see more of his powers. Cause we got to see some in like Incredibles 2, but I would love to see a lot more of Jack Jack. He's just amazing. Like literally the strongest superhero like ever. And he's a baby. <laughs> I can't hardly wait. Imagine though if he turned into like a villain later on in life. It'd be like, yeah. 
I don't think anybody could beat him. He just got every power. And, and everybody had all the rage of Superman and Batman. Yeah, well, none of you guys met Jack-Jack. <laughs> Jack-Jack has got all of your powers combined, and then some. Again, his only downside is that he's a baby at the moment. But, yeah. I love that they, uh, that they made him so strong. So cool. So cool. Okay, the last milestone. Woohoo! Milestone number five. Animal rice cracker stand. So this is a concession stand, guys, that you can get um, for points in the tower challenge. So basically every time you challenge a tower, you get uh, currency and points. So those points all tally up, and uh, you can win, obviously, an exclusive concession stand. So I'm totally happy about this. Only problem is, is where do I put it? Honestly, this can be very difficult to choose what to take out. But I do have a section of land over here that is literally just a junk pit right now. It's just stuff I just threw in. Um, I just wanted the magic. And then I found out that they changed the time on uh, the sorcerer's hat there. So I was so upset. I literally want to take them all out. But I'm like, I don't know what I should put there instead. There's so many to choose from. So this is, this is a good way. Absolutely a good way. So I might try and just leave those sorcerer hats there so I can just replace them uh, with each chapter's concession assuming that I get it so there it is guys oh it's so cute and it's so Lion King I feel like it would look amazing but it does look pretty good around the Western Arcade except the concession stand is almost as big as the attraction so we can get 44 magic every four hours because they're dipping the ears <laughs> that's hilarious I wonder what it actually tastes like. Have you guys ever had one of those? Are those like a thing at Disney? They probably are. I'd love to try one though. They look super yummy. And again, they, it, I love that they made it the theme of the Lion King, like the base of the concession stand. So it is going to be a really cool piece. I feel like if you want to transition between like Lion King and Toy Story or something like that, it would be really, really cool. Um, again, just because it's sort of neutral. It's not like Lion King specific. Right? It's obviously got the Mickey ears, so... What on earth is Ed doing right now? That was weird. <laughs> Literally, Rafiki's gonna have no butt if he's not careful, because Ed right. just doesn't care. He's just yeah. laughing hysterically. Oh my gosh, if I level him up, I'm literally gonna have to do his laugh. I'm not prepared! Oh wait, no wait, that's Rex. He goes, I'm not emotionally prepared! I can't do his voice either, but... <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah, I am not emotionally prepared for this. You have to be so silly. I mean, I'm in a like, good mood, but to do that, you just have to be an absolute goofball to be able to try and pull that kind of laughter off, but... I always make an attempt, so yeah. Just don't judge me. <laughs> it's gonna happen. So as you guys can see here, this is one of those moments Frozone had to go off on his own. I feel just horrible. No refresh. <sighs> Sad times. But I got over 26,500 points, so I got all, obviously, of the rewards for the points uh, for Chapter 1. Now, I've got two days, 11 hours left at this point. Now, in Chapter 2, guys, you will not be able to carry over your points. Now, that's a pretty common question I get quite a bit. So, letting you guys know those points do not carry over. You start at zero. So, at 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sunday they will go back to zero. So as soon as your calendar pops up, um, everything goes back to that point. Now, except for currency, okay? Currency is going to keep growing, so you don't have to worry about that. But uh, in terms of points, they go back to zero. Oh, and then you have to start all over again. <laughs> Pretty intense. All right, here we go. We have got another mystery chest here. I love these chests. They're so cool. They remind me of the amber chests, but... Bonsai's bone token. Okay, so this is good for Bonsai. Bonsai must be almost ready. We're gonna have to check. All right, let's open it. I wish they gave more than one reward, to be honest. 
Bonsai's bone token again. Okay, well, fine. I'll take it, I guess. I wonder if they keep giving them to you even after he's ready, like he's got enough. I wonder if it just sort of keeps going or whether they stop giving them to you until you welcome him. Interesting, not sure. But those, uh, Shenzi's bone token is 300 currency, as that you guys can see here. So I'm gonna try and finish up, I guess, whatever's left. Um, we'll obviously do our best here. Now I didn't obviously have to purchase Pumba or the attraction, so that was a bonus. Those are each 1500 event currency, so that definitely takes a little bit of a hit. I'm looking uh, probably to have that kind of hit in chapter three, so any additional currency I can get, I really, really need it. Otherwise, uh, Shenzi may not be coming in if I'm not careful, so. I'm gonna ha kinda have to be conscious about that. So that is all of the bone tokens, guys, for Shenzi. So we're all done for chapter one, literally everything we can do. And now it's just a waiting game at this point. Now the price of the next character token, which is the ears hat, um, we're probably looking at like 450. Um, yeah, cause it was 300. So probably around 450. Highest would be about 500. Uh, but again, I'm, I'm gonna predict it's 450 and then probably Six for the last one there It's gonna yeah, that one's usually the most expensive now Hopefully Nala and the attraction there are going to be only 1500 each so fingers crossed for that There were no leaks for those kinds of things unfortunately so that we are going to sort of have to wait uh, to find out about that one, so yeah, I'll keep you posted though, guys, as we go along here. And the baby kingdom was awesome, is that actually I can see all the currency and stuff like that of what these things are gonna cost, so that's always really great that uh, I have sort of that option to see that now. Because, like, I sometimes, like, in the past, I just haven't known. It's been like, how much is that one? It just shows a big check mark. I think that they should still show you, like, hey, it's this much, but you've got it. So it's just like grayed out or whatever so that, you know, you can at least uh, see how much other people would have to spend on it. So another little tiny tweak that maybe they could do to, uh, to tower challenges in the future is to still show the currency of what it would be. But again, just leave it grayed out because you already have it. So just an added bonus there. So the next character collection I'm going to need to do some work on, okay? Besides the Incredibles, and I mentioned this earlier, was uh, the Princess and the Frog. So Princess and the Frog is going to be useful for chapter two. Lewis is going to be that character, that featured character that's not gonna get tired. So basically he's gonna replace Frozone in chapter two, which is a little bit of a surprise, Lewis of all characters. So Lewis now is a level nine. Hallelujah. <laughs> yep, I am glad you are a nine too, buddy. I don't think he'll be a 10, guys, to be honest. Um, but I'm pretty happy with a nine. I had no idea he was even like an eight before. I was like, oh, I bet he was like a six. But no, so I I feel like I've done pretty well with the collections and stuff in preparation for this. I'm pretty happy. So I've got 14 of 40 of the trumpets and then two of 35 of the ears hat. So again, those are a little bit trickier to get, especially the ears hat. So we'll just sort of have to wait and see. I have enough of the gumbo and magic. Um, again, I just need, I just don't think I'm gonna have enough time before it starts. Cause like it's, it doesn't work the same way as like someone like Jack-Jack because Jack-Jack would get tired, right? So that's fine to send him off after you sent him to challenge the tower for a day. You can't do that with Lewis. So whatever Lewis is at for you guys, it's just gonna have to stay there. Um, now I know there'll probably be a bundle for Lewis at the start of chapter two. So uh, by the looks of things, that bundle is gonna come with some character token to level them up right away, um, which should be useful for you guys. I know they did that with the Frozone bundle. Um, I didn't obviously get it to show up on my screen, but on the Baby Kingdom it showed up, so I got to see like how much it would be and again, what it came with and stuff like that. So very useful to be able to see those bundles. Uh, but yeah, so Lewis is gonna be that next one. And then after that, guys, it's gonna be Prince Eric. So uh, work on your Little Mermaid characters, especially him. Thanks for returning, we got a daily reward. Yay, sweet, happy, 
blueprints. Need it. Super bad to upgrade a lot of these attractions. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so much work in the kingdom. It almost just seems exhausting and a very daunting task in a lot of ways. Um, like, I'm not disappointed, but it's just like, again, it just does seem like a lot, a lot of work, that's for sure. Now, I only have 14 characters, guys, right now. They get tired and stuff like that. So, 14 um, of my characters challenge the tower. So, it's not, again, it's not as many, maybe, as some of you guys out there. But that's sort of what's on my roster. So, I think I'm doing okay, though, so far. Um, yeah. Were you guys able to finish all the points and stuff for Chapter 1 yet? Or are you guys still working at it? And like, did you purchase Pumbaa or the attraction or did you already have them in your kingdom? Like, give me the lowdown, guys, how you guys are doing um, in your kingdom. I love obviously reading all the comments about that sort of stuff. Now here's Ed. He is the premium hyena in this uh, event. Oh, gosh. Ed is now level three. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, that's that's Ed being ridiculous. I feel like I almost bit my tongue off doing that. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so lucky I didn't. I need it to be able to speak. So Ed collects refresh tokens, and he collects for himself, and he collected for Bonsai at one point, but I guess now I've got all of the skulls and stuff like that, so uh, that's great, actually, for Bonsai. So now it's really just a matter of waiting for his ears hats. Which honestly could not come soon enough. Here is Huey in the kingdom, and he is now a level three. I gotta tell Dewey and Louie about this. Yes, but we need them in the kingdom first, buddy. I'm trying, I'm trying. I feel like I'm letting you guys down. I need, the three of you need each other. I know that. It must be so hard. Ah, okay, and Eudora, so I worked, did Eudora. She was 16 hours, which means, guys, she is now a level nine. Well, isn't that sweet of you? You know what? I thought it was sweet of me to level you up. Uh, she was actually, she's going to be pretty good. Um, she might be able to get to a level 10. But I am sending Prince Naveen uh, to be a level 10. So at least I'll have somebody that um, I can sort of send out whenever I want that's going to be super strong on the Princess and the Frog collection. Again, I would have liked if it had been Lewis at a 10, but again, it's not going to be possible. So Prince Naveen uh, was sort of that other character that I chose. Now, that's just with the featured collection, so he will get tired, but I do like sort of having the option to use my refresh tokens on a maxed out character. I always really, really like that. So that will be in time uh, for chapter two, which is great. Super happy about that, actually, because I need him. I totally do. Now, there are some other characters that this collection's doing pretty well. I think for chapter three, though, since my Little Mermaid collection is, like, maxed out, I think what I'll end up probably focusing on in chapter three a bit more is maybe Moana, just in preparation um, for what's to come, like, in the near future just because I know in the Moana event I didn't get my characters as high during the event as I usually do again I just played it way too cautious and I just feel now I really really need to kind of step up my game with them or they won't be ready for any upcoming tower challenge so I usually just level up somebody here or there but I think I'll maybe treat chapter three I'll treat it with like my main storyline stuff and again, focusing on that limited time collection again, which will be Moana, just, uh, I usually try and pick and choose, you know, one here or there that I can do, but having that collection again, just like one level higher will be great. Now I know the flowers is going to be a problem because you need so many of them all the time, but I'll try and work on that, uh, for the next like day or so getting some extra of those so that when I do start leveling those guys up, then uh, things will go pretty smoothly for me. So that is everything, guys, for this video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed chapter one of Tower Challenge number seven in my kingdom.
him. If you guys did, make sure you guys give this video a big Mickey thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe and hit that little bell for post notifications. And of course, don't forget, I do have another channel, guys. Um, if you guys like Harry Potter, I am playing like Wizards Unite and Harry Potter Hogwarts Mysteries, some trivia, that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm trying to build that channel a little bit. So if you guys want to head over there and uh, check that channel out, maybe subscribe, that would be totally awesome. Uh, so I will leave a link to that channel at the end of this video. I will. There's also always a link um, in my description below. And if you're on my channel page, it is in my uh, featured channels there. If you guys uh, want to check out what other channels I'm involved in ever or anything, um, all that information is on my channel page. So again, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and we will see you guys for the next Disney's Magic Kingdoms game video. Bye!